Today I'm going to show you how to add a satellite and transponder to a GT Media free satellite receiver. And specifically this is the V7S model, but this process should work on most other GT Media receivers. As you can see on the screen here, these receivers are pre-programmed for Eastern satellites, which normally you can only receive on the other side of the world. There's not a lot of Western satellites programmed in these, so I'll show you how to put in a satellite and transponder today. And we're starting off at the main menu here and you want to first select install and satellite list. And then here we are at the list of satellites that are already installed in this receiver. And I have put a few in for other satellites. Today we're going to install a satellite and transponder for a 91 West C-band. So the first thing to do is to add in the satellite. And we'll hit the red button on the remote. And you can see at the bottom of the screen, there's a little guide there for you to follow. And when we hit OK, we're able to give it a name with this keyboard. We'll just call it 91 West C. And we'll use the page button, the green button, to shift to the lowercase keyboard now. Just to make sure that our name is clear enough here. C band. And once we've given the name, we hit the yellow button to save. And now the name is saved. Now we can go down and put in the longitude. In this case, it's 91 West. We'll just use the down arrows. And using the left and right arrows on your remote, you can shift between East and West. And then just use the number, the number keys to dial in the longitude, 0, 9, 1. And then down to confirm with the yellow button. And that saves. The satellite. So now the satellite is saved in the receiver. Now that our satellite is installed, we want to make sure that the L and B frequency is set correctly. So using the right arrow key, we can just shift into this menu. And since this is a C band L and B, this is the correct frequency um, for the L and B that I'm using 5150. That's a common frequency for most C band L and B's. And the importance of having this set is, is that if you have this set incorrectly, you won't be able to dial in a transponder. So make sure that you've got the frequency set correct for your L and B. Okay, we'll hit exit now. And now if we press the SAT button on our remote, the SAT button, that brings up a list of all the transponders on this satellite and there's none. So we're going to add one. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the red button on the remote to add a transponder. And now we have this little menu up here. So the transponder information for each satellite you can find on websites like Linksat, that's what I'm using here today, or TVROSat, and I'll leave links in the description for those. This transponder I've chosen is the Fox College Sports and Nat Geo transponder on 91 West C-band. It's a good reliable transponder and that's the information we're going to dial in here. So using the number keys on our remote we're going to go ahead and put the frequency in and the frequency is 03900 and then we'll use the down arrow to enter the symbol rate and it is 3000 zero and this is a vertical transponder so we have to change the polarity so down one more and then use the right and left keys right and left arrow keys to switch to vertical now we can save that and there we've got our transponder saved i just took a moment here and plugged in the coax cable coming from my c-band dish and you can see the signal meter is showing us a good signal. So we're getting a signal on that transponder. So now we can hit the SAT button 
and that'll bring us back to the main satellite menu. So now we've got our satellite installed, we've got our L and B frequency set correctly, and we've also got a transponder installed. We're getting a signal on this dish. And now we can hit the scan button, that's the blue button. And we're going to select a blind scan. A couple of other details here. FTA only means we're only gonna scan for free channels, TV and radio, blind scan, and let's go ahead and start the search. And you'll see in a moment, channels should come up quickly here. And that's a quick video on how to install a satellite and transponder into a GT Media free satellite receiver.